Coach is rebuilding itself. Coach Inc. is dead. Long live tapestry. This article today in the New York Times, believe it or not, you wouldn't think that the New York Times has lots of great business stories, or at least I haven't found them. I seem to see more political rants and, and raves, not a lot about business, but this one caught me because Coach, uh, famous for its leather goods, has become a holding company for an, an increasingly ambitious fashion group. The name of the game is now Tapestry. <laughs> so this luxury group, uh, a holding company that owns uh, a bunch of uh, brands, has decided to rebrand themselves. And you might be thinking, Dylan, what the heck does this have to do with my small or my medium-sized business? Or you know what, Dylan, seriously, Coach? I know my wife knows what Coach is, but I don't know what Coach is. It's uh, probably, you know, it's a, I know it's a high-end thing, but what does it have to do with me? Well, um, the sentence that, that I thought mattered in this particular article was that, uh, in quotes, this is a home that is not limited to any category, channel, or geography. So here's the punchline. In my experience, what I've noticed is that businesses that are, you know, coming up on 10 years maybe, um, or uh, individual service providers like, say, a mortgage broker, real estate agent, uh, maybe a lawyer, a small law firm, etc. The branding just doesn't work anymore. And it tends to be a reflection, uh, you know, it's a bit, there's a little bit of fatigue that sets in. You know, people uh, don't get excited about the logo or the look and the feel anymore. And, uh, um, you know, it kind of reflects maybe the environment or the culture of the business. And sometimes doing a refresh, even if you don't change your name, even if you just keep your name, but you just do an entire corporate refresh, a lot of times that can breathe new life into what you're doing. And as the entrepreneur or leader, uh, when you came up with your logo or your name, it was probably creative and witty and there were lots of reasons why you've had it. And now hopefully there's some brand equity behind that logo or that name. But even to raise the morale or the spirits, uh, or quite frankly, the interest of, of your team and yourself, doing a refresh oftentimes brings along some other conversation pieces that sound a little bit something like this. Well, what color scheme should we go with in our logo? Or what should our logo now represent? As a business, when we started, we were doing this, but today we've now transitioned into this. And so our, our brand and our image needs to reflect that. In an age of web pages and social media and YouTube channels and podcasts and so forth, you need something that reflects the character of your business and can do it quickly. And you might be surprised if you go down this road of doing this, that um, it breathes new life in, into uh, new life, new air, new energy into what it is that your business is looking to achieve. And quite frankly, it's going to give you some new ideas guaranteed. You may not even realize uh, if your business is five to 10 years old, maybe or even older than that. You may not even realize how much potential your brand has unless you sit down and start sketching it out and figuring out what could it look like. So if a company like Coach, massive, massive brand, huge brand in fact, uh, if they're going to do a refresh to try and reach a different audience, to expand the reach that they're getting with their audience right now, then certainly anyone running a smaller, medium-sized business can benefit from that particular lesson, that a rebrand or a refresh a lot of times can breathe new energy into what it is you're doing. And for that, you might see a little bit of an uptick in the engagement that you're getting with your audience or your marketplace. But more importantly than that, you might actually realize on some new opportunities. You might say to yourself, if we have to keep this brand or this image or this look for the next decade, what do we want that to represent? And then, you know, from there, you can get into strategic planning and financial projections and all that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, the thought was, if you run a smaller, medium-sized business and you feel a little fatigued with the image and the look and the brand, then maybe it's time for a refresh. And if a company like Coach uh, can do it and can step up and make the adjustment, then that could be a signal to anyone running a business smaller than that, that it's probably okay for them to do it too. So get out there 
Ask people what they think of your image and your logo and the uh, presentation that you're trying to uh, show the marketplace and see if maybe a refresh couldn't uh, have a bigger impact on your business than just uh, what the logo looks like. So that's it. Thanks for connecting today. Thanks for hanging out. If you're watching this on YouTube or if you're listening to this on the podcast, really appreciate your time. Make sure to subscribe or to like or rate the podcast and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.